Passover is always such a powerful and emotional time of year, but this year it feels even more so. We've been asking ourselves, can we really celebrate when so many people are suffering in so many ways? But the Jewish question is not whether we should celebrate, but how. We never miss an opportunity to celebrate life. We always remember those who cannot celebrate at the moment, and we pray that they will someday soon. One suggestion I have, for example, is about chairs. In the sanctuary at Adat Shalom, we have set aside an empty chair with a picture of each of the hostages. And since the Seder takes place at home, I suggest setting an empty place at the Seder table to include the hostages spiritually to help their souls feel connected to us. Also, donate to organizations that support your values and goals. Come to services, Zoom them. Let's just be together somehow. Responding to the anti-Semitic pogroms that were in Eastern Europe in the 1800s, Emma Lazarus wrote, until we are all free, we are none of us free. All of our souls are connected. This is why Moses demanded of Pharaoh that all of the people be able to leave Egypt, not just some. No one is left behind, no one is forgotten. This explains how we were able to, su to survive the plague of darkness when the Egyptians were so affected by it. The plague of darkness descended on everyone, both Hebrew and Egyptian, but the Egyptians turned on each other and the Hebrews turned toward each other. This is what our enemies will never understand. In our darkest moments, we always turn toward each other. Let us always continue to do that. Wishing all of you a sweet and joyous Pesach with freedom for all of us.